a simple walk to chat with the neighbors, something most of us take for granted. But for 20 years, it was something Cecilia Adias couldn't do. I was in the prime of my life. Um, it was St. Patrick's Day. 1967 and the doctor came in and I had never seen a resident with such a long face in my life and uh, she just said well um, do you have any family members nearby and I said no and she took a deep breath and said well you have multiple sclerosis at 24, her doctor told her she would be paralyzed and wouldn't live past the age of 30. My heart just sank. Everything that I had worked for, everything I had dreamed about, just in one second, one millisecond, was shattered. Cecilia had plans. She was building a successful career as a photojournalist and had moved to San Francisco. But after her MS diagnosis, she was laid off. And within a year, she was in a wheelchair. Thinking she had just a year to live, Cecilia toured Europe and managed to prove her doctors wrong. Cecilia had lived, holding on to her dream. I was determined I was going to walk. I really was. In 1982, she was in the UC San Francisco Medical Center cafeteria when Dr. Sheldon Barrel asked Cecilia about her wheelchair. And my legs were drawing up under me. I couldn't stand up. And he said, I have an idea. Call me. A few months later, Dr. Barrel found the nerves that were causing the spazzing and cramping. He trimmed the nerves in both of her legs, and after a year of intense therapy, Cecilia was able to walk again. It was the most liberating, freeing I, sensation. Cecilia still has MS oh. and is limited in what she can do. But every day she wakes up happy because she is living her dream this to walk. In Anaheim, I'm Julie Cook, Daybreak OC.